We are not sparing any efforts to make education in Ghana of the best quality and fit for the needs of the 21st century. In September 2019, a new standard-based curriculum will be rolled out from kindergarten to class six in primary schools. This curriculum has drawn upon the best practices from all over the world and will focus on making Ghanaian children confident, innovative, creative thinking, digitally illiterate, well-rounded patriotic citizens. That statement was made on 20th February 2019, three years after the introduction of the new curriculum. Many basic schools operated without textbooks. Many education stakeholders expressed concerns about no textbooks in the classrooms. The Education Minister, Dr. Yao Osei Educhum, was compelled to answer questions in Parliament on why the textbooks had delayed. We're going to do everything possible to make sure the textbooks are there. That is why this time I was careful not to give you a date because I know my colleague will come and quote me. But all that I can assure you of is that we're at a critical stage where the quality assurance is being done so that I don't have a situation where some um, T's are not crossed and I's are not dotted to get into trouble with my ordinary colleague. So Mr. Speaker, all that I can say is that the final stage it's what we have done now, quality assurance, and our textbooks are going to be available in the classroom. In July 2022, the government printed and supplied textbooks to schools. My colleague, Papani Ashali, met the Deputy Education Minister, Reverend Intim Fodjo, and asked when all schools will receive the textbooks. And so we are monitoring and ensuring that the delivery, printing, delivery, distribution must continue as effective at the speed that we are seeing it now. And we are very optimistic that even before the 90-day period, every school and every child will have the required number of books to support their effective learning. It's an ongoing process. We will collate all the data and then we will let you know. That the ministry at this point in time do not know that students or schools that have received that mischief angle because that will not be. No, it's not mischief. You, you mentioned that some of the students have received the textbooks. The process that is ongoing. We are here at the, at the press house having seen the production, the packaging and the delivery and we have given you information of about 60% that have already gone to regions that have also been in the process of being distributed. Some have definitely gone to schools and we have told you that we will ascertain the particular schools that they've gone. So we focus on the Krachi and Chimuri districts of the Oti region. Many teachers found innovative ways of impacting knowledge because they had not received textbooks. My name is James Asari and this Motoka number 2 DA primary, basic 4. Um, I'm the one in charge of this class. There have not been textbooks. In fact, I won't say adequate. There's none. Not even a single textbook to go stop. So at times what we do is you have to go around. When you get a passage, you have to run photocopy of it. You bring it for lesson. And then there are some other subjects that uh, we the teachers we use our personal money to I mean get some one two textbooks on our own that um, we are using. So that is how we teach over here. The, the new curriculum, we, we don't have them. Don't have them. Yes, we went for a workshop, all right. But uh, except this particular term, that they brought some few textbooks. And the textbooks only class one, class two, and class three. Few ones, English, only English. We, we normally write some simple sentences and simple readings on the board for them, so that they will copy and they will go home and learn, because of the books are not available. As of December 2022, many schools had not received textbooks. Motoka DA Primary School had not received textbooks. The issue is that we don't have textbooks. So some of us use our own money to buy it, like this RME. I bought it with my own money science with my own money and the ones I can afford is what I bought. Or maybe you go to the other class, other school and go and, go and uh, 
borrow books from the other school and come and teach them after they send it back. We lack books. Subjects that we don't have books. We have we lack math books, we lack science books, we lack social and uh, all our people, we lack history. In fact, basically we lack all books. I'm Benny Stogbe, a class a class story teacher, and this is our class about the textbooks. We don't even have a single of them. That's the new curriculum textbook. So um, I bought a golden a textbook. That golden English, golden Sahara. They, they is drawn like according to the new curriculum. So that is what I am using. Small, small. Okay, I just bought single, single of them. So I use them alone. They don't have some to use. We are pleading with the government to provide us with the textbooks, the new curriculum textbooks, because we don't have any of them in the school. Since 2019, the curriculum has been changed, but so far we haven't been delivered any textbook yet. And the ones that I get in the market, that's what I've bought so far. But I bought, that's for my copy, it's not for the students, the one I used to teach them. So, and you know, if you are teaching, there are some things, some pictures, and some where the children themselves might see, but it's not, as it's not enough, there is no way they can see those things. And so that's the major challenge we have here. The Diocope DA Primary School had also not received textbooks. You just go online, Google about the subject, uh -huh. you do your own research and come in. You don't have textbooks, so you just go online and Google about the subject, then you come and teach just like that. You don't have uh, textbooks at all at all but like personally I me myself when I, I was coming I bought some myself from my place some people some teachers who I know they have that one you buy it yourself uh-huh Brian Quanta had some textbooks for some classes the textbook we have only few uh, looking looking at the number of the children each child will not get a textbook at least four in one four children per one book, and those students cannot carry the book home. Indesala DA Primary School also had not received textbooks. So how will these children be confident, creative, digitally literate, and well-rounded citizens as stated by the president when they do not have learning aids? This is just one side of the story. Uh, schools and the trees is, is a symptom of poor planning. Why did we not know that that community needs a school and proactively put a school there and just go and approve a school that is under tree? When you were sending the teachers there, didn't we see there were no classrooms? So it's an indictment against us and we are going to do a better job next time not to look at the symptoms but to really approve the challenge, the problem. children here study under very terrible conditions. The district chief executive of Krachi in Chimuru, Nkrumah Kwesi, acknowledges that his district has serious infrastructure challenges. The infrastructure deficit is huge. We have a lot of deplorable uh, schools. We have high number of schools under trees too. Uh, then Furniture deficit at the last time when I checked, I requested for that data from the district assembly. We have over 7,000 uh, 7, deficits. So we have over 7,000 children who don't have any furniture to sit on. So that is about half of the student population in the district. These children endure a lot of challenges including snakes evading their classrooms. class <laughs> But they still show up in school to study. Even without furniture, some carry kitchen stools on their heads and walk long distances 
all in the quest of catching educated. The pupils are getting ready to write their end of third term examinations. After 10 minutes into the exams, Michael Kwabnan Nayak rides his bicycle to school. He said he went to fetch water for the house, but because he was running late, he decided to come to school first. He goes round in search of a spare pencil because he misplaced his. After getting a pencil, he starts to write the exams. Michael has no furniture, so he kneels and begins to take the test. Many children in his classroom without furniture assume the same position. It's a very uncomfortable posture, but they endure from lying on broken benches, sitting on stones, and on the bare floor. Three children cram on a table, making it difficult for them to do independent work. This is very common in many schools we visited. Michael and his friends have a plea to the government. This challenge is well known to the Vice President of the Republic. Was it not just a little bit of smart politicking? You know, you noticed a problem had been announced and then you thought, let me just turn up and uh, show that uh, I care. Uh, you know, uh, Perhaps so, let me answer it for him. Yeah, and it worked. Well, you know why? Yeah, let me. You know why? If smart <laughs> politicking can get kids to have tables, so be it. The, the whole issue, <laughs> the whole issue that you are looking at children without desk. When I saw the story, honestly, initially, I, when I heard the story, I could not believe it. I, I really could not believe it because if you are looking to be in charge of the economy of this country. Inshallah, as vice president and head of the economic management team, one needs to be very familiar with the ground. And I'm doing a lot of these trips to really be able to assess for myself what is the situation, what are the needs. And so when you go to an area and they tell you that kids are lying on the floor and studying, you ought to go and see it for yourself. So why can't this be permanently solved? Two years ago, the government launched a program to eliminate all 5,400 schools under trees in collaboration with the Vanco Trust Fund. Then we saw an appeal for funds going on on a website, schoolsundertrees.com, send normal contributions, so and so so. So I asked myself, that is, it is heartwarming to provide an opportunity for citizens to contribute towards building schools if government is constricted with cash that's fine but i thought that there was no clear plan to raise funds and that by starting from that point it didn't show true commitment because we had to see seed money being put into that investment we saw government put in from 25 to 330 million Ghana cities in constructing a cathedral which is now an underground uh, a big mahu 
Okay, so we were expecting to see government put the seed money into the 3.5 billion fund that was required to eliminate the 5,400 schools and at least. Today is two years. I mean, this month is two years. We are in the second year. You know how many schools that have been constructed? Less than 20. Quick facts. There are 68 public schools in the Krachi in Chimuru district. 45% are in a horrible state. This roughly means 31 schools are not fit to be called schools. 7,000 children in the district have no furniture. Nationally, as of 2021, there were 5,400 schools in the trees. The government, supported by the Valco Trust Fund and government, have been raising funds to eliminate schools under trees. But in 2022, only 18 schools have been handed over. Government officials say inadequate funding is the problem. Are you willing to be part of the solution? Jojo Kobna, Joy News.